Hello and welcome to another one of Charlie's Hikes. I'm he heading back out to Ptarmigan Ridge. This was uh, a trail I just stepped on uh, a couple of weeks back. It's pretty much where I filmed my gear video, um, but I wanted to go further and I didn't have the opportunity. I was looking to keep my miles down. So it starts out from the Chain Lakes Trailhead at Artist Point up above Mount Baker ski area. And uh, that's where I am. So snow is still melting up here. Plenty of water on the trail so far. And it's a misty morning. We're in the clouds. But I expect these are going to burn off as the day goes along. The forecast is for sunny weather. So should be beautiful as it happens. And I expect some snow fields to cross in a little while. along this ridge to get to this point. Heading over to that notch over there. You'll see back there, I replaced my water container that I busted on the Tahoe Rim Trail a couple weeks ago. Got a new Evernew. The first one lasted about four years. And I took it on basically every trip. So I'm planning to give this one about three years before I replace it. It's an Evernew two liter container. Here's the first little snow field. Some good steps kicked in there. Well, there was a trail split back there, and I now see that the trail actually goes below and continues on. So I gotta find my way down there. Not too bad of a scramble just down this little rock face, and we're back on line on the trail. Definitely when you see that trail split back there, go right. It is marked pretty well with rocks. I just thought it was headed down to the lakes, so I misread it. Well, this is delightful. Just making my way through snow fields and run off, and the clouds are starting to lift. The trail's pretty wet. Plenty of water on the trail today. But overall, feeling good. There's a view down the valley. This is roughly to the north. And here's a little more of what's below. You can see the clouds drifting around. Came out of a notch over there, all along this ridge. 
see the trail in the foreground and then up here I'm on a little kind of saddle right now You've got this mountain up above which is beautiful clearing out gradually the stream but that ridge up there looks really cool and uh, getting closer and closer to Baker which is somewhere in the background there I believe my trail goes right up there so looking forward to getting up to that point and checking it out You may have noticed that my water bottle is kind of dangling out the right side of my pack. With a frameless pack, at least with this one, the V2, which I only took out because I have an ice axe to date and has an ice axe loop and my other packs don't. But uh, when they're not very full, which is really an incentive to fill them up a little more, uh, they things don't always ride as well as you would hope. So I know as long as I'm not bending over and stuff, that water bottle should be fine, but it does dangle at a weird angle. It makes me nervous at times. So that's the explanation there. The trail comes right up this creek, essentially, seasonal creek, and goes up into the snow field and then somewhere off to the right and into a saddle. It's a little steep here. Not a big deal. Not a huge run out, but I'm going to pull out the ice axe for some good practice and the micro spikes and got the shades on. Ready to down go. there. That was a very efficient way to travel on snow. And I seem to have found the trail right where it intersects this slab of rocks I'm standing on. So I'm gonna continue to go up this ridge. Definitely back on the trail, which kind of goes through here. I'm gonna cross that snow field up the ridge, and then I think there's another snow field beyond it. So I'll keep going, hoping for some views at some point. Trail looks like it's drying out again, so back to what I normally wear on trail. Stowed all the snow gear. Well, just cruising along the ridge here. Let's see how far I can go. I just saw some people with their dogs, like four people and two dogs. They seem to be doing okay. Said trail conditions are manageable up ahead so gonna keep moving gonna hope for some views plan to take a big long lunch break at some point but it's only nine o'clock so got a little ways before I want to even think about that a little ways to go all right the trail goes up there so I'm definitely getting my snow stuff back out including the ice axe and here's what's below Over the first hump, I think I have a pika going nuts over here. That wasn't too rough descent. Be a little challenging, but we'll keep it safe. And then coming around, this is what it looks like going up. It's pretty much straight up, pretty straightforward. It looks like people have glissaded down this. Nice, nice way to go as long as you don't get too close to the edge where the snow drops off quite a bit. All right, up over the second piece of that. Wasn't too rough at all. And it's definitely getting more moist out here. There's a mist blowing in the breeze now. So time to put on some rain gear and get rid of the snow gear for the moment. Although I'm gonna go look around the corner first. And here we have a ptarmigan mom and some babies reminding us why this is called Ptarmigan Ridge.
Well, that's looking back from where I came. It's definitely clouding up more. I have uh, gone off to a little viewpoint, I believe, and I'm gonna go back to see if I can pick up the trail, breaking off kind of to the left back there. But since I'm here at the viewpoint, well, there isn't much of a view today. It's just turned into one of those days at the moment. But you can kind of see down there, and you can imagine the immensity of what is right in front of me. And uh, maybe I'll get to show it to you later. Maybe I will have to do it on a future trip. We'll see. Well, I could have gone left and I could have gone right. There's left. There's right. That's why when you come to a fork in the trail, always look at your map. Otherwise, you'll be like me and you'll be hiking some extra distance. But now I'm heading off to the right. This is right where I came out of that snowfield. I was all excited. And at least we got to see a ptarmigan, so it was worth the side trip. Getting some more patchy snow in this section of trail along the ridge. Getting close to the end though, where I plan to hang out for a bit to see if we get some clearing. So the next step of this trail is it kind of goes up around here, wraps around to the right, and then dead ends up there somewhere. Given the amount of snow in this area and the lack of views, I think I'm going to take a break right here. If it opens up in a little while, then I will consider heading out that way and seeing what kind of photography I can get at the end. But if it doesn't, then I'll probably make this my turnaround point. So gonna hang out here put on all my gear uh, keep warm keep dry eat lots of food and uh, go from there all right took a break for about 25 or so minutes and tons of people are going by so I decided to keep going so you can see some people up there up the ridge a bit no snow gear right now but might change it up in a little bit, we'll see. All right, back on dry, not snowy land again. So we can go on, getting close to the end of this thing. Here's a nice little campsite up here. This is kind of a cool boulder field area. I've been in a few of these in my hiking experiences. Quite a few actually. That I really like these up on volcanoes especially. I'm not going to go much further. I've gone out over five and a half miles so double that on the way back and uh, not seeing a whole lot of distance views but been enjoying the hiking. It's been great. It's nice and misty and cool but uh, it'll be time to turn around shortly so I'll let you know when that comes. Okay according to my map the Shoals Glacier should be off here to the right pretty much below the snow, I think, in this area. And I've decided this is my turnaround point for the day. I've gone close to six miles one way, and uh, that's enough for today. So I'm gonna head back. If the views open up, I'll show you a lot more. Clearing out a little bit at the moment as I walk along this ridge. So you can see some of the areas down the valley below, at least some of the snow sections. Got some other hikers out here having a good time. How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. Excellent. So I did glissade down the upper part this time, and it was a little sketchy coming down this bottom part. I glissaded one other section as well. I tried to film it, but unfortunately it didn't come out, so I'll have to keep working on that, but loads of fun. All right, up here on the snow again. See the trail going down there, crossing the snow, and eventually it's going to make its way all along the ridge there and back into that notch, and then you can actually see it 
heading back to the parking lot. All right, story time. This is the descending uh, snow field, like the last big one. And you can see people coming up down there. In all that fog and rain and everything, I lost the trail. I ended up going up into one of these gullies and then ascended that snow field there, which with an ice axe and micro spikes was pretty sweet. Um, but you can see how steep it is, at least off to the right. I tried to stay to the left. So, fun times. Good adventures. Here's another view of that upper snowbank. I made my way up that way earlier. Looks a lot steeper from down here. I'll offer up a few final thoughts here on the last little stretch of trail in a quiet spot between groups of people. You don't always get views on a hike. I'm sure y'all know that. Uh, but today, I've got some really nice ones uh, at the end here. They were lower down, and uh, that's not unusual here in the Northwest, particularly when you go out early in the morning, which is what I like to do. I'm gonna try to get back out on this trail in the fall and uh, see if I can get one of those days where I can get an early start and lots of views and uh, try to bring that to you. But otherwise, hope you've enjoyed this hike of Ptarmigan Ridge. Hey, we saw a ptarmigan. That's pretty sweet. And a marmot. And uh, had some fun in the snow. It's a good time. So at least by me, and I hope by you as well. So uh, we'll catch you again on the next one. Got more hikes planned for this summer. Look forward to uh, filming them and sharing. I have to laugh a little bit because I don't send a lot of text messages. They don't come in that often while I'm hiking. And I don't film that often. But it almost always seems that when I'm filming a clip, the text messages come in on the Garmin and it starts beeping. Granted, I could put it in silent mode. I haven't chosen to do that. And that's mainly because I do want to know when something comes in. But... Makes me chuckle now every time it happens.